I am absolutely convinced that Donald Trump did not read my book because he doesn't read books. An algorithm is something that predicts that what will hap what happened in the past will happen in the future. So in order to be, be able to build an algorithm, you need two things. You need historical information, so you can look for patterns in that information, and you need a definition of success. You, you need to say exactly what you mean by it led to success in the past. Once you have that, you can look for patterns. What led to that exact kind of success in the past? And then you say, this will lead to success in the future. Algorithms don't think at all. They just notice patterns and they don't even notice patterns. We tell them exactly what a pattern is that they're searching for because we tell them what success looks like and we basically train the algorithm to recognize similar situations that lead to success. And by the way, artificial intelligence is just another name for algorithm. So there's no sense in which artificial intelligence is going to become conscious. I call an algorithm a weapon of mass destruction if it's being used in important ways on a lot of people to make big decisions about them. So things like, what kind of college can I get into? What kind of job can I get? What kind of information do I get about politics or other things on social media? Those are all algorithms that are really, really important. A weapon of mass destruction also has to be secret. We don't understand how it gets decided that we get this option or we're denied that option. So it's important, it's secret, and the third thing is that it's not fair. There are individuals who are denied things that they deserve. They're denied a job that they deserve. They're denied the college that they get should be getting into. And just as an observation, they actually tend to create these feedback loops that instead of solving a problem, make the problem worse. They also tend to increase inequality and threaten democracy. The people building these algorithms aren't even aware of how bad they are. Honestly, the companies who own these algorithms are making a lot of money off of them, and they don't want to know if the algorithms are fair or not fair. Since there's no in external pressure to make sure that the algorithms are even legal, there's really no pressure to force a company to look into the unfairness of their algorithm. There's one exception, Amazon, which built a, a hiring algorithm for engineers. They actually went to the trouble of checking their algorithm to see if it was fair for women, and they found out that it wasn't. They found out that it was sexist. A lot of the algorithms that I worry the most about are really not easy to check if you're not on the inside of the company that's using them or building them. The regulators haven't translated the laws, which they have, into what it means for a computer program to be fair in, in terms of sexism or in terms of racism. So that's the kind of thing that we actually have to be working on right now. There have always been constraints and um, the constraints that we currently have on things like hiring are that you have to do it in a fair way. So what I'm suggesting is that algorithms will have to sort of follow the same constraints that hiring has already had to follow. Does that mean that algorithms cannot um, be compatible with capitalism? Well, I guess I would throw back the question, are anti-discrimination laws compatible with capitalism? Because they've been around for a while and capitalism seems to be doing fine.